Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today's video, I'm going to talk about how do you master pullbacks, okay? How do you trade pullbacks? Now, if you're new to trading, you do not know what a pullback is. Let me just start by explaining uh, what a pullback is first, the prerequisites of a pullback, and then I'll go into the three-step process that uh, you can use to uh, trade pullbacks like a pro, okay? So now, pullbacks actually have a prerequisite Okay, you, you must have a trend. Okay, let me just draw it for you. There must be a predominant trend first, then you trade the pullback. Okay, so for example, in this case, you have a, uh, you know, like a uh, trending move up, what, or otherwise known as an impulsive move, and then uh, you have a corrective move, which is the retracement. Okay, so the prerequisite to uh, trade a pullback is that there must be a, um, there must be, a predominant trend. There must already be a trend, right? Then there must be the retracement of that trend, right? So that you can get long again in the direction of that trend, okay? So in this case, if you identify it like this, then uh, you are actually looking for um, buying opportunities. You're looking to buy the dips and uh, you're waiting for a price to go back in the uh, trend, direction of the trend. Okay, now why it's difficult to master uh, pullbacks is because uh, you never know for sure which level um, you know, price will pull back to. Okay, you never know. So the problem comes when you, know, um, you, you can easily identify this trend, but you don't know is price going to pull back to this level or is price going to pull back to this level or is price going to pull back to you know, even this level. Okay, so that's the challenge of uh, trading pullbacks. Okay, so not to worry, in today's video, I will teach you a specific method on how to, uh, how to actually sort of uh, find out which levels has a higher probability of, um, you know, a holding, right? Has a higher probability of um, where price would stop, okay? So let's get into the three-step process. So I have covered the three steps over here because I don't want you to be skipping steps, okay? So make sure you watch the video to the end so that you do not miss everything, okay? I don't want to just give you the three steps and then you start running around with it, you know, looking at your own charts and, you know, you, you miss the point, you miss the context of uh, what I'm trying to say over here, okay? So point number one is you want to identify the trend, okay? So... It's very simple to identify trend, okay? I have a lot of videos talking about this, okay? You want to look for a series of higher highs and higher lows if you're looking for a bullish trend. So I will just uh, do a quick example over here for you. So in this case, you can see that, uh, you know, you have a series of uh, higher highs and you have higher lows, okay? This is mandatory, okay? It's not optional because as I said, the prerequisite of... Uh, trading a pullback is that there must be a trend, okay? You cannot trade a pullback in a ranging scenario, okay? Because in, in a ranging scenario, all you want to do is you just want to buy the bottom and you want to sell the top, okay? You're not looking for price to, you know, retrace and, and you know, uh, go back in the direction of the trend, okay? You just want to buy low, you want to sell high, and then you sell high, you buy low, you repeat the process, okay? But the v this video is not about uh, range trading. This video is about uh, pullbacks. Okay, so the first step you want to do is that you want to identify the trend. Okay, if you need help, change to the line chart, you should be able to see it easily. Okay, again, I have a lot of videos about how to identify trend, how to identify market structure. So if you are new to my channel and this is the first video you are watching, then make sure you check those videos out because this is very important. Okay, but make sure you finish this video first. Okay, don't, uh, you know, don't just go to that video and miss out on the other two and step two and step three, okay? So step number one is uh, you identify the trend, okay? Step number two is you want to look for areas of support, okay? So this is pretty common, okay? Most traders do this, okay? Uh, most traders, they understand how to identify trend, they know how to look for support. So for example, in this case, you can say, okay, we're in an uptrend, so I can see that the, there was resistance here, and in fact, uh, you know, it was a support turn resistance turn, uh, you know, uh, turn, turn back into a resistance, now it should act as support and then you buy here, okay? Now, if you didn't take profit fast enough, you probably lost money if you put a stop loss below, okay? So most people don't have the issues with uh, identifying areas of support, okay? You just look at the market structure, try to identify levels which have acted as, you know, both support and resistance, okay? If a level 
is both a support and resistance. That is what uh, I like to call a uh, role reversal level, meaning that it is both a support and resistance. Okay, Such levels are stronger because it means that both the bulls and the bears agree that that is a strong level. Okay, And when you have agreement like this, meaning that both the bulls and bears agree, that's a strong level that you want to be focusing on. Okay, so this is how you identify. So uh, as I said, the biggest issue with tr trading pullbacks is you do not know whether will price pull back to this level or this level because you can see that this is also a very good level. You have a resistance and then you, it got retested as support, right? And then you also have, of course, this level, resistance once, resistance twice, resistance twice, right? So you, so you don't really know whether price will go to this level, this level, or this level. So that is, you know, how most traders trade, you know, they, they just, you know, kind of gamble, say, okay, I'll try this level, I'll try this level, I'll try this level, okay? And that is very frustrating because sometimes you do not know whether your, you, you actually identify the levels correctly, okay? And that is why you need step number three, okay? Step number three is going to change the way uh, you trade pull X, it's going to change the way you view the market, okay? So what is step number three, okay? This is very important. Step number three is that you need to have a price action trigger. Okay, price action trigger, meaning that you want to see a form of reaction of the level. Okay, you don't just want to, you know, enter directly at the level or you don't just want to, you know, uh, assume that the level will hold. Okay, because how do you know that you got the level correctly? Okay, you only know if you got the level correctly if there's a form of trigger. Okay, now one of my mentors, right, one of my first mentors always teach me this concept, right? She drew it into my head right, that when there's no trigger, there is no trade, okay? So if you can, write this down, okay? This is so important, okay? This will help prevent a lot of losses. If you do not see a trigger, then you do not trade, okay? No trigger, no trade, okay? Make sure you, you write this down. Hey, what do I mean by no trigger, okay? There are many ways for you to have a trigger to enter, okay? The, the, way that I want to talk to you today about, I want to share with you is actually a trend line, okay? So in this case, you can see over here that price was at this level, okay? If you have entered over here and put your stop loss below, if you didn't take profit fast enough, you probably would have lost money, okay? And if you're waiting for, you know, price to come here, the, the trade didn't even happen, right? Because market didn't even touch the level. Okay, so the first trigger or rather the trigger that I want to teach you today would be to use a trend line. Okay, you draw a trend line like this, you wait for the trend line to be broken. So you can see over here that the trend line was broken. Okay, when the trend line is broken, then you look for entry here, somewhere here with a candlestick pattern that supports your, your analysis. So your entry would be somewhere be here. Okay, the stop loss just below the candlestick pattern. Okay, that's how you wait for um, that's how you wait for a trigger. That's how you wait for the market to show you that uh, it has bottom. Okay, it's not a good idea to just put a limit order here because if you were to put a limit order here, then where do you put your stop loss? Right, you do not know where to put your stop loss. But if you wait for a price action trigger, in this case, I use the trigger of um the trend line above the trend line. I'm going to buy above the trend line. I'm going to put my stop loss uh, below the candlestick pattern. Then you have a nice stop loss and you have a sort of a confirmation that uh, this entire retracement has ended. Okay, the retracement has ended and the uptrend is going to continue. Okay, or at least that's what uh, you, are, you are predicting. Okay, there's, there's no certainty in trading, but uh, that's how it is done. Okay, so let me see if I can find you an, any examples. Find, find your other examples. So just a reminder that you always want to be looking for a trigger, okay? The trigger can be in the form of uh, the trend line, okay? Now in my Forex course, I talk about other tr triggers, okay? How I use the candlestick patterns together with uh, certain indicators, okay? So if you want to know other triggers, right, you can check out my Forex course, it's free, okay? It's free, access to it is free, right? You just need to find in an account with our sponsoring brokerage, okay? I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, actually, in fact, in the day trading guide, I also do talk about some triggers that uh, you can use. Okay, but this whole video, I'm just trying to drive home the point that um, you, you always want to watch for a reaction. You want to look for a trigger of a uh, suspected uh, support. Okay, suspected because you never know if that support is going to be the real support, whether it, that support or resistance is going to be strong enough. So what you want to watch for is you want to watch for a trigger. Okay. 
So let me just show you one more example and then uh, we should be good to go for this video. Okay, so, um, so yep, you have it here. So, okay, so over here, uh, this is a bit more tricky. Okay, uh, can I just delete this? Okay, so let's say you are buy, you want to buy. Okay, this is a bit more tricky because it looks like it's counter trend. But actually, it's not because you have a swing high, you have a swing low, you have a higher, a lower high, sorry, and a lower low, and price has violated this, this high here and this high. So in a sense, it's kind of like a reversal. Okay. In fact, if you draw a trend line down, you see very nicely that it retests uh, this, uh, it retests this uh, trend line, and it kind of form like a inverted head and shoulders. Okay. Let me just show it to you. This is the head. Uh, this is the shoulder, left shoulder, and this is the right shoulder. Okay, so you can see that uh, it, I'm able to identify it very easily, right? I mean, I, I haven't, it's not like I found this chart, you know, like this pattern uh, beforehand, right? I just scroll through. Okay, this comes through experience. If you are new, you are struggling with all this, give yourself some time, uh, it's going to take time, right? Um, don't expect to develop all this overnight, just be patient with yourself, okay? Just be patient. Okay, so in this case, right, uh, you can do the same thing. You can just draw a trend line. Uh, just a moment. You can just draw a trend line and uh, you have the same problem, right? The problem is where will price retrace to? Will it retrace to this exactly? Right? Will it retrace to this uh, retest? This zone over here? Or will it retest as low as, you know, this zone here? Let me show you. This zone here? Or will it even retest? this line here okay you don't know right there's no way to find out right only when you see a trigger then you know that okay probably that this line is probably valid okay so you see this nice candle over here this uh this candle here this nice engulfing that has strongly you know very strong close above all these candle highs even close above this high okay this high over here so close so you can see that uh, this was kind of like the signal, the trigger candle to enter. Okay, so this is how you do it. Okay, let me just summarize this video so that you get it. Okay, so in this video, I talk about how do you master uh, pullbacks, right? So the first thing you want to do is you want to identify the trend. Okay, the trend will give you the direction. If you want to buy, you want to sell. Okay, the next thing is you want to identify the areas of support. Now. In, in, a, in a bullish trend, of course, you want to identify areas of support in the, If you are looking to sell in a bearish trend, then you want to look for areas of resistance, okay? The opposite is true. Okay, I'm not going to repeat for both because it's just the opposite, okay? So you want to look for areas of support or resistance. You want to map them out, kind of using like a line, right? Okay, this zone is a potential zone, this zone is a potential zone, and this zone is a potential zone. Then lastly, you want to watch for a price action trigger. Okay, so in this video, I just introduced to you one of the many triggers that are used, which is actually a counter trend line. Okay, I call this kind of like counter trend line. Okay, if you are new and you know you don't know how to draw trend lines, not to worry, I have a video on how to do that uh, in my YouTube channel. So just make sure you check that up. Okay, if you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Grab yourself the uh, free day trading guide, right? The link is in the description. And if you want to learn more about triggers, right? How do you identify and validate a level? Then make sure you you know enroll for my course. Okay, and as I said, it's free, right? It's free. You just need to find an account. Check that out. I also leave a link in the description. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. I'll do my best to answer it. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next video.